Good morning guys. So welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your day. By the time you see this, it will probably be either the start to your day or midday or end of the day. It could be a variety of things. So it's 9.51 in the morning. Vlogmas Day 13 is already up. I had gotten that edited last night exported off of iMovie last night and then was able to upload it. It's not that long, it's like 13 minutes, 12 minutes, something like that. Just having my coffee, finishing up my coffee actually, I'm almost finished. <laughs> I was supposed to have a photo shoot today, but honestly, um, I need to go to work. Work has been really, really, really slow this week. Um, easy to say. It's been a bad week at work for not only myself, but a lot of the dancers. It's just not a good week. I don't know. Um, you know, I told you guys in the last vlog, sometimes December is like this because of Christmas and stuff. People don't really have money to spend like that. So I'm just trying to stay positive because one thing I've learned living in LA is money comes, money goes. Like even though I'm a little low on cash right now, that could change today. That could change tomorrow. By Sunday, Monday, I could be up. That's just how the whole dancing industry is. You just don't know how it's going to go. So as much as I wanted to do a photo shoot today and go do that, my priority is to make money. Um, a lot of money went out this week because of bills. So I'd rather be at work trying to make money and hustle than be at a photo shoot that I'm not getting paid for. You know, the photo shoot stuff, I miss doing and I wanna get back into it, but it ha it's not, everything has like a priority. If it was a paid photo shoot, I would be there, obviously, you know what I mean? It's paid, but it's not even a paid photo shoot, it's just a photo shoot just to do a photo shoot. So that kind of has to be, kind of has to be like around my schedule. You know what I mean? It has to be, when I have the time, when I have the funds, to just take work off like that. And I could just go to work after the photo shoot, but like I said, I'd rather be at work early today and like really trying to make some money versus like going in later and maybe missing potential clientele. So <laughs> that's just like how I am. I really have my priorities straight and I'm always paying attention to the calendar because I'm one person that's never late on my rent, literally since I moved to LA. I have never once been late on my rent. I take pride in that, um, being on time for all my bills. So I'm always paying attention to the calendar, and obviously today is December 14th, which means I have two weeks, about well, two weeks, actually exactly two weeks is due. So it's like crunch time. Like now is the time to get rent together. I'm never late on my rent because I get my rent early. Usually by this time of the month, I already have my rent money or I'm close to having it. Right now, I'm a little low, so it's a little stressful. And it's not that I don't have money. I have money in my savings, but I don't touch my savings because it's a savings account for a reason. Some of it is going to go to a car and some of it's going towards my future. So I never touch my savings. So um, whatever I have available, is my money and it's also my bill money and my savings does not get touched so yeah just a little bit stressed right now but everything works out and I know it's gonna work out I just need to keep calm and I wish Coco would stop licking her paws all the time I gave her allergy medication she still licks I don't know if you guys' dogs lick their paws but if so let me know what you guys do and how to stop it because it drives me nuts. It's like a habit for her. All right, guys, so I'm ready to go to the gym. I think I'm going to work legs today after cardio, so let's get it. <laughs> wrapping up my workout I just need to stretch and I'm done but I realized I tried to record myself working out and the footage is not that great bad angles 
It's just easier if I had someone record for me. Anyway, I'm gonna cool down, stretch it out, get out of here, go home and shower. Just got back upstairs from the gym. I'm gonna down my protein shake, take a shower. Um, I started the oven. I'm gonna put in some fish, cook up some vegetables and have that for lunch probably before I go to work and bring more protein to work just in case I get hungry. But I'm gonna check this and take a shower and then I'll check back in with you guys probably after I'm finished doing the makeup. Okay guys, so this is the tilapia that I just cooked with broccoli. Um, it might be a little bit more than one cup and I put some butter on here and I also drizzled some olive oil. So the thing that I think people forget about um, low carb diets is that you need to fill up on good fats. So I'm not saying butter is like a super good fat, but it's a fat nonetheless. Um, when you, I'm not a fitness guru. I'm not, you know what I mean? This is just what I know. This is my knowledge of a low carb diet. When you do low carb and you do low fat, that is equaling out to starvation and it's not really healthy. So if you're going to do a low carb diet, you have to put in good fats and butter is a fat. And I don't necessarily know. I can't sit here and say it's a good fat. But I do know that olive oil is a good fat, avocados is a good kind of fat, um, there's other things, but I don't want But I don't want to say it and be wrong, you know what I mean? But I did read an article that said butter is acceptable if you're doing a low-carb diet. So I noticed that... Doing a low carb diet, I'm definitely more hungry, but you still have to have carbs. In order to survive, you can't eliminate carbs completely from your diet. That would be totally unhealthy. Vegetables are carb, it's just a good carb versus having like a potato or french fries or bread or pasta. Those are not such good carbs. Does that make sense? So um, the worst thing to do is to start a low carb diet and also keep fats out of it because you're gonna be so hungry and it's gonna make you not wanna diet. FYI also, my makeup's not done yet. <laughs> I just have my eye makeup done and my brows done. I still have to do my face makeup, but I wanted to eat first and then go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, but um, that's why I look a little funny. But yeah, so if you're gonna do a low carb diet, you also you know, have to remember to put good fats in place. And there is a fine, guy outside. He literally looks like a personal trainer. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I just called a ride about four minutes out. Just finished putting on a jacket and all that good stuff. I'm gonna go to work. I hope it's decent. Hoping for the best because a lot of money went out this week to bill. So now I gotta start saving for rent. So and this week really hasn't been good. The only really good day I had was Monday, phone call. So anyway, like I was saying, I have the tilapia. So I made two fillets of tilapia. So I'm bringing it to work, the leftover broccoli and tilapia because my calories are actually high today because I had such an intense workout. So I wanna make sure that I make all my calories for the day. So I actually have to have another meal probably around like three or four o'clock when I'm at work. So like I said, I brought the tilapia, another filet and broccoli. Because the tilapia and broccoli is only, let me check, it's only 250 calories. So I still have after having the protein shake and then having the tilapia with the broccoli, I still have 1,290 calories. So even at three or four o'clock when I have another meal, I'll still have like a little over a thousand calories left. So it's like to try to make up for them all, it's hard. Does that make sense? So then when I get home from work, I'll probably have a protein shake. Then I'll have dinner. And then hopefully at that point, I will have made up most of my calories. But it's hard to keep up, especially when I have hard workouts. Um, you know, like I said, I don't want to start with. <laughs> Hi, Bubbas. Hi, Bubbas. Hi. Hi. I missed you too. I missed you too. Hi. Just got home from work. 
Um, it's almost 8 o'clock. Or is it 7.30? Something like that. Um, today was actually a really good day at work. So, finally. Finally, I'm having some luck at work. Um, I made $350. But then after tipping the manager out, I think I left with like $340. So, that's good. I'm happy. Routine. I'm going to light my candles. Um, I think I'm going to make a chicken, a chicken sandwich. Um, well, it's not really a real chicken sandwich. It's one of those veggie chicken patties from Morningstar. I haven't tried them yet, probably with asparagus and veggie tots. And I don't know how many calories that's going to be, but we're going to put it on a sandwich thin, so... So as everything's cooking in the oven, I have like 10 minutes, everything should be done. This is the total calories for dinner, 487. The chicken patties, 170. The veggie tots, which are corn this time, are 187. Sandwich thin is 90, and asparagus is 40. And then I still have calories left over. I have 553. Always at this time of the day, do you guys notice I have 553 calories every time? Alright guys, the so food is done. Asparagus, the corn veggie tots, and then um, this is the chicken. Vegan chicken patty. We're going to put some pickles, a little bit of cheese, and some mayonnaise on here. It smells so good. I'm really excited to try the chicken patty because it smells so much like chicken. And I will let you guys know how it tastes after I'm done eating. <sighs> Sorry if I look bad, guys. Just got over a sneezing fit. I tell you guys, I feel like I have allergies in this room. I don't know what it is. Kind of comes and goes. Um, still have yet to get a humidifier. It's so annoying. <laughs> and I don't even want to complain about it because it's like my own fault for still not having a humidifier. But I will be getting one soon enough. Um, anyways, it's like almost 9 o'clock. Literally gonna go watch some Netflix. Yeah, it's 8:43. I'm gonna watch some Netflix. I have a Halo top. Took a shower and this has been sitting out the whole time. Like Halo tops, Halo top takes a while to thaw out. So I'm gonna be eating the one in birthday cake because the oatmeal cookie ones are gone. Literally, I love them. So the birthday cake one is pretty good. It tastes exactly like birthday cake. I love Halo top. I know they're a little bit expensive. I get them at Target for 3.99 each, but. To me, they're worth it because, like, I have a big sweet tooth. So, to me, it's it's worth it. Like, I'd rather eat better um, ice cream than eat, like, Ben & Jerry's every night. That's not going to help me with, like, my fitness and stuff. So, I'm going to close out the vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed day 14, and I will see you guys very soon in day 15. Bye, guys.